Hello and welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you want to be updated to all the content that we are delivering, please head over to YouTube, join our channel, and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow what I'm doing, you want to follow what I put out, you can follow me on Twitter at JustAnalysis1. Taking a look at Ethereum Classic. So I looked at Ethereum Classic uh, last week I, on Thursday and... I believe even the week before that, when I've written some articles, looked at two you know, possible entry zones on the on theoretical, of course, on the long and the short side of the market. The long side of it was an entry at 6088, waiting for a breakout above the cloud to initiate a long. And on the short side of it, waiting for an entry uh, where we not only break below the cloud, but that the Chico span would be an open space. That trade we're looking for looking for a close that is at that level or slightly below it so if it were to close here uh on the daily chart this would be an inappropriate entry because it's not really that close to the uh to the established short entry at 50 45 it's a little too extended and it's very possible that the short trade here will not become valid at all this this is kind of developing into a big old bear trap. When you look at the optics bands on the weekly chart, you can see that it's quite extended down below here and that it's hitting uh, very close to the very extreme lows. Additionally, when you look at the composite index, if you look at the trough from back here in September 28th, look at the price action lows here, look at the lows in the composite index, reflect that over to where we are now looking at the current close and the trough down here, we have a lower low in the composite index, but we have higher lows, we have higher closes and higher lows on the price chart. That is hidden bullish divergence. Now, is 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 uh, Ethereum Classic in a bull market? I'd say it's more consolidative, but it's it's been my experience that hidden divergences in a directionless market in a range um, it, w without having a major trend play off of uh, over the last few months, hidden divergences tend to play out a lot more efficiently than regular divergences. Uh, we also see that the RSI is uh, uh, it remains in bear market conditions, but it's coming down to test the uh, 30 or 20 level, but it's technically near the 40 zone. And this is going to be the interesting thing to watch because if, you know, around 38, 39, or 40. If this holds as a, as a support zone and it bounces, basically if it creates kind of a double bottom at 37 and it starts to move up towards 50, that may be the time when the RSI shifts into a bull market condition. And that is probably when we'll see better long entry opportunities on Ethereum Classics chart. But for right now, that long entry up there that we looked at before, that is still open, active, pending, no changes there, and no changes on the short side of it either. That's just what I'm looking at. As far as downside pressure, you know, it, look, it looks like downside potential may be uh, limited to, <laughs> oh, well, it's got a whole lot of nothing as support. Um, but roughly that $20 range is, is likely where it's at. As far as upside potential, if it does break out higher, uh, you're going to get the 106 level, if it were to get up there, is definitely the area that you'd get stopped at because of a very flat single span B on the weekly Ichimoku chart. That does it for me on Ethereum Classic. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.